Hey man, I'm shopping for a new processor. I was just wondering, when do those new Intel 15th gen CPUs come out? 15th gen? You didn't hear? Hear what? Intel completely changed the way they name their processors. I barely started understanding what i5, i7, and i9 mean. What, what are they calling them now? This new series is called the Intel Core Ultra 200S series. Wait. Why? Who knows, man? Some people think it was an attempt to cover up what happened with the 13th and 14th gen processors. Others think Intel's just trying to be fancy and make these new processors sound nice. Bro, nothing sounds nice about learning some tech company's new weird jargon. This is starting to sound like Nvidia. Yeah, man, I totally get that. But back to what CPU you were looking for. How nice of a processor do you want? Whatever the i9-15900K is called, that one. Oh, so you want the Intel Core Ultra 9 285 K. What the f did they actually name it that? Yes. Yes, they did. Wait, so we're going to go from 13th gen to 14th gen to Core Ultra? Core Ultra 200S, actually. How are we supposed to know what a CPU's tier is? Like, like i9, i7, i5. They still use 5, 7, and 9, but instead of the i in front of it, they use Core Ultra. So, Core Ultra 5, Core Ultra 7, Core Ultra 9. All right, what about the actual name of the CPU? When I asked you earlier what the 14900K replacement was, you said 285K? Yeah, so Intel completely scrapped that part of the naming scheme. So we have the Core Ultra 5 245K and the Core Ultra 7 265K. Okay, and then the high-end processor, that's the Core Ultra 9 285K? Exactly, and I'm sure Intel's gonna come up with a whole bunch of different variants in the future, but that's what we've got so far. Well, as much as I hated they changed their names for their CPUs, I'm ready for that sexy next-gen performance. Mm, I wouldn't get your hopes up, bud, because based on all the benchmarking videos that we're seeing, these processors aren't that big of an upgrade. Damn, and they had the audacity to call them Ultra. Well, at least I future-proofed a little bit with this new Tai Chi motherboard. Oh, buddy. No, you're kidding. Don't tell me. Yeah, man, Intel's switching to their new LGA 1851 socket. So if you want to upgrade your CPU, you're going to have to upgrade your motherboard. Wow. Okay, just give me a second. I need some time to cope. It's all good, bud. I'm here for support. Intel Core Ultra 200S, it's just so many words and so many monies. The more words a tech company adds to the product name, the more cash you're gonna fork out, right? I can't wait for the NVIDIA RTX 5070 Ti Super Ultra Founders Edition. 